you saw it. Um, and you wanted to avoid spoilers, I get that. Um, but for me, it's like... The spider guys, Toby and Andrew showing up. If that happens, I'm, I won't be surprised by it. Right? Okay, that's number one. Um... I think that's pretty much it. I mean, Charlie Cox show is like, okay, I, I knew that too. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's not going to surprise right. me. It's going to be cool to see. That's about it. It's going to be cool to see that first appearance. You're like, oh my God, that's the reaction. And that's the sort of um, drama, I guess, that Marvel um, introduces into these movies. And when I hear others talk about this being the end game for spider-man you know type of film it's because of those reactions and those ahs and those oohs and and, and the fans reaction so but i'm gonna go in there i haven't people have been pretty good so far we're not spoiling stuff i've been tentatively scrolling up uh on stuff and i haven't seen anything crazy just um memes of people threatening other people <laughs> if they spoil it so it's been pretty cool but you saw it um and you tell me about what sort of reaction you came out from that experience um well first off i gotta put the funny anecdote that i texted you about <laughs> so the theater was sold out um close to it which is a very unusual as i told you for where i am most of the yeah. movies I've seen, I go to actually for the early screenings, I tend to go to a colder theater um, precisely because there's fewer people, it's less popular. Yeah. And when I bought my ticket, there were only like five or six tickets bought, which was late last week. I showed up with no seats available. And I was like, okay, so this thing is going to put up huge numbers. Yeah. But, you know, what I would say is. <clears throat> I think Endgame is the wrong. I think Endgame is the wrong analogy for this movie. Um, I think it's more like Infinity. Okay. That's a better analogy for what this movie okay. I think is going for, and the way it sort of sets up the rest um, of the what's coming next. That's yeah. what I would. Okay. I mean, hey, that's perfect. What I would say is what was cool about this was it was cool to be in an experience where the crowd was there and the crowd was into it. And these were clearly people who had been with MCU films, the Raimi films, you know, even the Garfield films or what have you. And so I'm not spoiling anything because we know Molina, we know Defoe, yeah, 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 Jamie. Yeah. So, I think spoiler like, free, ladies and gentlemen. Spoiler so free. So people responded to the right notes, right? They responded. The gags that were meant to get a big reaction got a big reaction. Um, and you reacted so, similarly. Yeah. Okay. And this movie is legit funny. This movie is legit funny, and, but it's funny in like a half. It's just well written, and half. If you've seen everything to date, you will laugh if that makes sense. Like there's definitely some stuff that they poke fun at because they're aware that the fan base hated it. Yeah. Like there, you'll know, like there's definitely comments where you're like, okay, they are on the other side of the screen, basically laughing with you. And they've gotten the actors to kind of buy into the fact of kind of the things they didn't do well or things that didn't work about their films. Yeah. I also think the reason why I, you know, I, the reason why I use the Infinity War analogy from a from like a past perspective is there is there are definitely moments where I think some of the highest points of the film have are not the action. And I think this is becoming more of a theme in these movies. But there's this moment of similar to Infinity War where things went incredibly global scale, and you had all these characters who've been built up between Avengers one and this payoff. Who were mm -hmm. then sharing screen time and you're like wow like these actors who have done all these things are now in the same room on the same set and they're having a conversation yeah. and there's that moment there's and actually it's weird like there's that moment where it's like you know tom holland's become this big star even though he's still in his 20s and it's like he's 
in the same place with Alfred Molina, who's won an Oscar, and Jamie Foxx, who's won an Oscar, and Willem Dafoe, who's been nominated, I think, for like nine or ten Oscars. And you're just like, this is a comic book movie, and this is insane that like they're having like a real conversation and there's real acting. So I can think that some of the best, and I, sorry, I'm, I did not uh, show proper respect to like Marissa Tomei, who's obviously won an Oscar too. And they're all in the same room. And you're like, is this the most Oscar nominations and wins that has actually been in the same scene like of all time? Like I was wow. just like thinking to myself, I'm like, you underestimate it. And then you see what these guys and respect are able to do with like, you know, comic book scripts and you're like, you just have to sort of appreciate it. So I think, I think I have to give like a hats off to just like the writers for giving them a moment where you get to kind of enjoy that and save it. So it sounds like to me that you really, really enjoyed it and that my predictions were completely wrong. Um, well, I think, let's put it this way. I think some of the doubts and questions that this, the lead up to this movie created probably lowered my expectations a little bit. And I think as a result of that, the movie became more enjoyable. But I would definitely say overall, I think they pulled off something against the odds here. And it's not totally what you think it is. I give this movie credit for finding nuances to a pretty basic idea, right? This pretty basic idea of like, Spider-Man has a problem. He goes to Doctor Strange to fix the problem. It goes bad and now all of a sudden we've got multiples, right? Like that's effectively, you know that's what's coming, but then they subvert that a little bit along the way to make you think like, aha, uh -huh, they're going in this, oh, no, they're not going in that direction, they're going here. And then I think it, it winds up having some real weight. Like I said, I think the str greatest strengths of this movie are not when Spider-Man is slinging and, and fighting. It, even though some of that stuff looks very cool. Yeah. Uh, it actually is really like some of the emotional stuff when it's just the characters and just some of the actors. And some of the stuff they have the old guys do, I think is really well thought out and probably will catch you a little off guard when you first kind of experience it. So I think that's, I would say this, this definitely is, well, I don't know. I mean, we'll see what you think. I think I feel safe. I feel safe in my sort of full year rankings and saying this is the best thing that was put in the industry in this genre this year. And we have talked about this year not being a great year. But I yeah. think we ended it on a pretty high note. Oh yeah, especially with Hawk, I wish we we're gonna have a, a show about. Um, but wow, um, I'm really looking forward to seeing this movie. I'm going there with. The low expectations that I had for this film, and 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 I'm I'm feeling confident that I'm going to be pleasantly surprised. That was a good spoiler-free yeah. reaction review to this film, pretty much. This is one. This is one I think you're going to want to see again because there is a lot going. On. The reason, other reason to make the Infinity War analogy is I think it's compartmentalized in a way that there are a lot of pieces of this movie that you'll you'll want to drop in for ten minutes if you see it on TV. That yeah. it's, it's it's got that editing style we're like oh this part's coming up cool i'll watch this like so it's it, it's two and a half hours but it doesn't feel two and a half hours. listen i'm happy to say i was wrong about where i thought this movie was gonna end up not necessarily financially but more so in terms of can this make the, can they make this movie work with all that's going on in this film that was my biggest concern and as we've mentioned in the past, some of these things tend to go really bad, you know? Um, so based on what your reaction, it seems like uh, Spider-Man No Way Home is going to deliver and um, it's going to do a hell of a lot of It's going to draw more. in a broad audience. That's why the, the Avengers movies are a good analogy because those draw in the broadest audience. And I think this is a movie that like, you know, you can take your wife to go see it. You can take your kids to go see it. Like they, it touches all the audiences in a way, like in different ways, right? Like the kids will want to see more of the Spider-Man action, maybe. Yeah. But like the adults might be more nostalgic for Molina or Defoe or or J.K. Simmons or whatever. So yeah. uh, it does appeal to to a lot of people. But I think I also think in a weird way, I almost feel like what's going on with the pandemic now might actually help this movie a little bit at the outset because if people are worried that 
things might be closing again or things might be limited again. I wonder if people are going to rush to go see this, right? It's like, and just kind of yeah. say like, I want to get that experience in for the holidays because I don't know if my theater is going to be open in two to three weeks. I yeah, just wonder if you see there. like a really yeah, big yeah, first yeah. couple of weeks. Yeah. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Um, yeah, um, let us let us know for who for those people who've seen it. Give us uh, a f- uh, you know a five star rating. Give us your your rating from five stars. What you thought of this film? Um, and let us know if you're gonna go see this movie again. And are you telling your friends about this movie? And um, that'll be interesting to know. Let us know in the comment section below. I also have a. We'll talk about it. I have a very clear cut number one movie in this movie. And it's all right, well, it's not get the back. one you might think, but there is definitely a moment where I was like, "Oh, <laughs> I bet." So when I see it, we'll we'll talk about that moment. Uh, but yeah, um, that was our review. Oh, that was Brian's review. Brian, we're gonna have to do these films because you see these films first. So we're gonna do a special segment each time. <laughs> Spoiler free review. <laughs> yes, because you see it first, than I do. So. I'll, you know, talking to another person who's seen the movie and they can tell us what they thought without spoiling it is a good conversation. 